What's up friends of the good boy? This is Money and welcome to a new War Robots video with a hangar idea that came from my patron supporter Kendro Smith. Um, because with his level of support he can come up with a hangar that I make a video of. And in this case he decided to go with energy machine guns, so quark or atomizer, and the combo with igniter, flamer, ember, uh, and all that for, uh, you know, against the authors and all these things with physical shields, right? So it's a very good idea of a jack-of-all-trades kind of hangar that runs very well against pretty much anything you can throw at it. And um, yeah, so let's test this out. And also I updated the uh, version of the game so we should no longer hopefully have any crashes. Let's see if that works. We're starting with the Ares now. And um, yeah, let's go with it. I'm pretty sure this is going to be fun. And also I feel, feel like we have a higher frame rate again now. That is cool. So... Maybe that also takes care of some of the problems we had uh, in the last live streams. And with this much, we have 500 meters range on the built-in weapons and the regular weapons of the Ares. Uh, with the Quarker Atomizer. Let's see if we can make some good damage happen here at the enemy once they try and go for the beacon there. He already tries to stop us. Okay. He's locked. And now he's getting hit by all weapons at the same time there. That is cool. Oh man, is he taking some damage. Jeez. And yep, I think we did it. And the enemy is really, really trying so hard to get us here uh, from, from this point. Okay. Yep. And I'm dead because he even had the shield breaker. He even had the shield breaker running. Wow. He really wanted to make sure that this uh, this Ares finally gets killed. They attacked me from two different angles at the same time. One was running shield breaker. Both were running their 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 their, their damage mode there. Okay. So let's see. Yep. Not a problem, man. I got no problem with you flying up there a little bit. So this guy, okay, let's go for it. Oh, man. Taking so much damage. Even this thing gets killed fast. Now we have here a Ravana. Oh, man. Awesome. So the newer version that we are running now is actually working really well. And I'm hoping it will also fix the crash. So, um, the enemies are not yet running their titans. That's what I'm still waiting for. For them to do run their titans. Yep, down to last stand immediately. That's awesome. Let's walk away to not get suppressed by him. And now without being suppressed from behind doing immense amounts of damage to him. Yep. That was good. Now we have this... I would show here next to us. Oh man, the action is real. Tons of action. There we go. Running the uh, the airy, uh, the leech ability here. Okay, he's bringing up that shield now. Oh, okay, I'm in safety for the moment. Not sure how long. Something is firing rockets, and rockets go past my defense here. But you see, this uh, the energy machine guns are really able to handle uh, very, very powerful things. Uh, and dealing a ton of damage to enemies. This guy is receiving all the damage that this uh, Aochun is currently doing. But now we're done. Okay, so I think the enemy will soon be running uh, their titans uh, with Arthurs and all this. So let's use the last energy machine gunner here. From this point. There's a lot of enemy presence here. I'm hitting him even though I'm not even able to really aim at him because the Lancelot was at the same level of height. So I could just, you know, look at him and hit him. Oh wait, he's currently having his his resistance down. Very important damage that we do. Triple the damage. There we go. What is he firing with? Oh, it's the uh, Nucleon. It looks very weird. So, where are your Titans, guys? Ah, there's the first Arthur. You see him right there? First Arthur has been deployed on the battlefield. 
And I'll, I'll be taking care of this with the flamethrowers in a bit. And we have two more uh, uh, titans, but these times, this times, it's our chuns. Okay, so here we go. Let's start to do some damage. Suppressing him. Alright. Now I'm doing increased damage. And boop! Suppressing both of these titans. Getting him out of the way. And then with, um, with increased overdrive damage coming at him really well. Okay, I'm phase shifting because I was suppressed by the Cerberus. Now we're taking down the Cerberus real quick. Why? Because we can. Okay, and now we're done. <laughs> so, finally time to take out some Titans. See, there is the, uh, the uh, Arthur. And this is the exact right way to deal with it with the flamethrowers. If whatever shield was protecting him would finally break. Unbelie Did you see how unbelievably long that shield protected him, that purple shield? It just never stopped. Okay. And see that? His physical shield does just doesn't do him anything. I see another Arthur in the distance. Really? That blocked me, that thing. Wow. Okay, let's run all the way over there, get into the increased damage area. We're running no last stand on any of the robots right now. Instead, we're running the in, uh, increased damage output um, with um, with overdrive modules. So it's kind of a high risk, high reward playstyle, right? We might be able to do a ton of damage, but uh, we can also get killed really quickly. So let's get into the, the area where we do increased damage. There it is. So from this point on, we should be doing almost twice the damage and see how we get this Arthur destroyed. See, see that? My god. Oh my shee. <laughs> That's it for him, dude. Is there another Arthur? No, they have other Titans. They have the, um, the Nodens. Let's reload. But the match is gonna end in like five seconds, four, three, two, and gone. But man, that was a very, very nice match, and it showed that the um, the Jack of All Trades combo with uh, energy machine guns and uh, and flamethrowers works. And you can really counter the Arthurs that would otherwise put you in front of a really, really pro big problem. And now you can deal with them because the flamethrowers just do that, really. Alrighty, so really well. um, on Moon now, we can probably do a lot with our energy shield from the Ares and block firepower for our friends, for our team. Under the bridge, that's exactly where the Ares is very good under the bridge. Especially when the enemy is trying to push through that. That's when it really, really shines. Okay. And there goes already one guy done. And this guy is gonna lose his, uh, his, his suppression, or his, his resistance now. And after that I can corner shoot kill him. See? He's still focusing on me, you see this? Or he was at least for a very long time. Wait, he's still alive? No more. Alright. They're trying to capture this beacon right there. And the Ares is a really, really good machine. Even able to deal with phantoms like this. Okay, he's gonna capture that. Let's see if we can help under the bridge again. 500 meters range is also a massive advantage on those weapons. I'm blocking the damage now. I don't know what this guy has, but he just took a tremendous damage there. Ah, it's a phantom. Okay, is he gonna bring up that shield or is he, is he not? Wow, I was not activating my phase shift because I thought the uh, the Ares would activate his, uh, his shield there, but he didn't. Or at least not at the beginning. So, with two Ares now, that should be good. Oh wow, they're all shooting him. I'm not gonna participate in that. Instead, I'm gonna do this. And see if we can take this guy down. Wow, that was a falcon, dude. Now let's get him before he gets the ability back. 
And from behind, we can hit this guy really hard. Man, are we doing a lot of damage here. Unfortunately, the enemy is actually winning in terms of beacon progress. What? How is this possible? Oh, I'm suppressed. Oh, come on. Even suppressed, though, I'm doing tremendous damage. Do you see this? Okay, I think it's a good moment to drop in with um, with the flamethrowers because the enemy is probably going to get their titans really soon. And we can already start taking some damage for the increased damage later. Now we are controlling every beacon. What the heck? This is an, uh, an Aochun who definitely wants to get back into another ability run. Which I'm not going to allow him to get. So where are the Arthurs? Come on, guys. Deploy your Arthurs. Okay. Ah, uh, he's jumping now. All right. Is he coming for me? No, he's going for the Ares, actually. Come on, drop that stealth. That's right. There we go. Some Aochun or so is attacking me from the side. Yep. There he is. And look how much damage he just took in that short time. He's almost destroyed. Now, I'm gonna leave the, let them have this beacon. I'm gonna actually let him have this. Because if I don't, chances are they will win and, and lose their match way too fast. This guy's getting completely grilled by the other Titan. I'm helping. Helping to grill him. Nice. And since I'm not the Titan right now, I'm actually not getting focused as much as I would be if I would play the Titan. Okay. He is face shifting. All right. He's not going to get another stealth. There's no chance for that. There's too much damage coming in. Not enough time for him, please. So, now that we have all beacons in the match uh, in the map, the map will end very quickly. And there is actually an Arthur. But as I said, the match will end very fast. And we will not really have long opportunities to deal damage to the Arthur. But I'm going to use whatever time I have to deal as much damage as I can here. Okay. Walking away from them. Firing at this Arthur instead because he's got less damage output. And that's already it. Damn it! That's the problem. I wanted to show you this countering of Arthurs. But as you have seen... Not in every video you can make record that because sometimes they drop so late that the match has already basically been turned over. Uh, but still, I think you've seen the countering of Arthurs in this video still uh, on a few occasions and it works really well. Um, I think maybe putting the flamethrower on the Ares would actually be better now that I think about it because the Ravana, if he wants to deal damage, he has to, you know, stay exposed. And the Ares can fire at the Titan and stay un uh, stay behind his saving shield and still kill the whole Ar Ar uh, Arthur in the meantime. So uh, maybe the Ares should be the one with the flamethrowers uh, instead. Hmm, not, not sure. Uh, but the Cerberus also works really well because you can suppress out of the Titans and then lock them down and then hit them really hard. It's just hard to suppress them and lock them when they have a massive shield in front of them like the Arthur. But yeah, so this was the video ca you know, um, from Kendrel Smith. Thank you, Kendrel, for suggesting it and for your support also on Patreon. It means a lot to me, dude. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for being with you guys. Awesome as always. Money signing off. Bye-bye.